While we were driving up here, even after the two people were already rescued from the plane, it still looked terrifying. Seeing that plane stuck inside that tower, just wondering how scary it must have been for the two people who were stuck inside there for hours. Right now, out here, though, you do see that plane is on the ground, but look at that damage to the front of the plane. I mean, it looks like a crush can, all of that metal, and then you can see the wing, one of the wings right next to it. It is barely hanging off. And this was stuck 100 feet above. Looking just to the left of it, you're also seeing a black device. That is the engine that also came down about 20 minutes afterwards. And then around it, you're seeing some metal, a coil, a few other pieces. And that's all from the tower that was lowered down shortly after the plane. I do want to mention, though, to give you an idea of just how high up they were, our camera slowly panning up. We did see crews working around that area as well going up, coming back down, trying to repair this tower. And then if you go to the left of it, you're going to see another tower and also a number of dangling power lines. And so even though the two people have been rescued, the plane is no longer stuck in the tower. The crews are still working very hard out here to repair both that tower as well as the power lines. Now officials say crews got here about 530 yesterday afternoon after reports of a plane crashing into a power line. The plane, which was dangling again, 100 feet in the air already made things difficult. Then add on those foggy conditions. Maryland State Police telling us the pilot is 65 year old Patrick Merkel from DC. The passenger 66 year old Jan Williams from Louisiana. First responders say they kept in constant contact with them through dispatch at first, then later with phone calls every 30 minutes to conserve battery as they spoke with crews on the ground. Now around midnight, those crews were able to secure the plane with both patients taken to the hospital with serious injuries shortly after 1230. There was quite a crowd here and many cheered as the pilot and passenger were rescued. I kept praying. I've been praying for hours just because I wanted to see them come out alive. That was my only hope. And I was kind of hopeful seeing everybody and, you know, just it was a great moment. About two and a half hours later after that rescue, those foggy conditions did clear up. And so just before three o'clock this morning, these crews, they were able to bring the plane down, untangling that engine from the power line shortly after. Maryland State Police, the FAA and NTSB, they are all investigating. And for a while, about 120,000 people living in the area, they did not have power. It has really been horror story after horror story. I spoke with a woman who says she's stranded trying to get to her mom's funeral. Over the last 30 minutes or so, we started to really see this line pick up. I'm being told by one of the travelers that this line has to do with a lot of people actually trying to head to Orlando this morning that just found out their flight also got canceled. And so that's why this baggage claim area, this is why you were starting to see bags here. These are bags, according to some travelers telling me, these are bags that were checked about 30 minutes ago, returning two people, including Kwame Best. You were supposed to leave this morning to Orlando. Yeah. What happened? Well, I was just sitting, waiting for the flight to um, board, and then the, I checked my phone, canceled. Five minutes later, canceled. Just sitting, everybody was waiting in line to board, just canceled. We had to return to the um, ticket counter to get rebooked. Now we can't get rebooked to at least the 31st of December. What does that mean for you? Are you stranded here? Are you trying to get home? Are you from here? I'm trying to get home. Back home, I live in Orlando, and I'm trying to get back home. I got actually have to work today, but now I can't work because of um, this. And so what is your plan of moving forward if you can't get rebooked until the 31st? Uh, my plan is going to get a rental car and drive 12 hours. That's my plan right now. That's, I know tickets are very, very expensive now. Have you reached out to your job yet? I know it's early. I have not yet, but I'm going to. Yes. Good luck, Kwame. Thank, Thank you so much for speaking with us. Now, this is just one of, again, dozens of stories that we're really hearing from people. Kwame mentioning he wanted to get a rental car. We were hearing from people who said they waited in line for a rental car for more than six hours and then had to drive even longer to get to their final destination.